here from Love Healing Hearts. Just want to read a little scripture. Psalms chapter 91. It's a lot of people's favorite. These are promises from God of divine protection, long life, and good health. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth in noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Isn't that a beautiful promise? Let me tell you this little story. This is a testimony about uh, maybe about 20 some odd years ago. I was repenting for years of abuse, of things that I had done unknowingly to my body. I've been heavy all my life. Even though I was very athletic, I never could get below a certain weight. Not your business, but anyway. So what I did was, um, at this time, I started becoming very conscientious of what I put in my body. And I started praying and I repented for the years and decades that I had eaten in ignorance. So I asked the Lord to show me what would I need to eat in order to be healthy. And all I saw, I'm telling you, God gave me a vision right on the spot. And I saw a plate full of green. Well, it wasn't an overnight success. That took me years to cultivate that kind of a diet. And now I am pretty much, I would say, 95% vegetarian. So what happens is this particular night I cried out to God. I was apologizing, uh, repenting, praying for mercy. Don't let me get all the diseases that are typical for heavy people and blah, 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 blah. And all this time I'm praying and I'm crying. I mean, I was crying my heart out. Well, I kept seeing Psalms 91. Now, I had no idea what Psalms 91 said. It's like somebody saying, uh, tell me what Micah chapter 2 says. Yeah, so that's where I was with Psalms 91. So I turned to it. I finally shut up because I figured, well, maybe God was really trying to Tell me something. So I opened the Bible and that's what I read. And I bawled my eyes out. I said, oh God, you're going to have mercy on me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, I wrote in my Bible at that time, 
April 1993, God's promise to me of good health and long life. I mean, I didn't even remember to write down the divine protection on top of it, but that was my main concern, so that's what I wrote. Well, in the mid-90s, I went to a healing service, and I went to hear a man who I'd never seen, never heard of. He had never seen me before, whole nine yards. So here I am visiting this church for the umpteenth time, but he was a guest speaker, And I sat to hear what he had to say, and, you know, it was a pretty good message. And he was there for healing more than anything else, physical, spiritual, and emotional healing. So I went up in line to get prayed for, for a lump that I had had in my breast for two years. Yeah, I know people wonder, two years? Why didn't you go get it? Well, I'm just not one of those people that... I'm not that trusting of the medical industry. I trust God a little more. And, you know, I mean, I'd almost be close to death and I'd almost be willing to die (laughs) rather than have them poke around and mess me up. But, But I know they help a lot of people. So that's just my own little thing, okay? Anyway, I went up for prayer and I was probably number eight in the line. And he called me out of the line. Now, this guy had a very humorous approach. So I got to tell you, this is so cute. When God gives you a promise, he will confirm it. I stood there. He says, I want you out of the line because I want you looking me eye to eye. I don't want you to have any distractions. Now, he didn't know me. I didn't know him. He says to me, he asked this question. Young lady, didn't God promise you Psalms 91? He's looking down the stage, and I'm looking up at the stage. I'm like, yeah. I was shocked because I didn't discuss that with hardly anybody that I wrote in my Bible. Psalms 91, God's promise to me of long life and good health. I, I I didn't spread that all over the place. So... I'm up there for a prayer for my breast, and he's asking me, didn't God promise me Psalms 91? I knew right then God was letting me know that the lump was of no issue, of no consequence. Don't worry about it. I could stand on his word, his promise. Well, after I laughed, he told me, and I was shocked, right? He says, well, go on over there and sit down somewhere. You got your answer. And he's so comical. All I I could do was laugh all the way back to my seat because I was still amazed. Well, believe it or not, that lump was still there. Six months later, eight months later, 12 months later. But after about a year and a half, it was gone. Totally gone. And it's, it remained gone. God is true to his promise, you guys. I'm telling you, he is true to his promise. When it, it seems like he's forgotten about you, if it seems like some of the, the answers to, to your deepest heart's desires, the things that you want to happen so badly, please don't give up the faith. Don't give up on God, because one day when you least expect it, and all I kept saying the whole time, I would feel my breast and said, okay, it's still there, but Psalms 91. I said, Lord, that's what you promised. You promised me Psalms 91. Don't forget that. And I just kept throwing it back at him. And one day I went fishing around and that lump was gone. Trust him. The old folks used to say way back in the day, he's due to trust. Yeah, he's, he, that's his due. You owe him that to trust him. Because one thing God does not do is lie. He is not a man that he should lie. Trust him. He loves us more than we could ever imagine. So 
Trust God. 